goodness gracious. Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez with creatingwithali.com and here I am today um, showing you some cards that we're going to be making with the Dino Roar Suite. If you don't know which one it is, it is this one and I'll go um, and talk a bit about how I come up with ideas to ma on making cards so that you get some inspiration. Uh, hello Jenny. And so also I'll show you some of the products on this suite, which, oh my goodness, it's always the same with me. I always feel like I come here to my room and then everything disappears. So anyway, but um, let me just show you real quick then on the catalog here. So the suite that we're going to be using is this one. And I don't know if you noticed, but um, Stampin' Up! now has a one item code that you can order everything. So if you like what you see, um, or if you like the whole suite, right, you can order just by using one number, which to me, I think it's awesome because then I don't have to be keying everything in because, yeah, let's be real, guys. I want everything on this suite. So anyway, so this is what we're going to be using. Let me just bring the packet the other thing um so here's what i have already prepped for this for this facebook live and then the other thing let's just go real quick over some announcements before i before i uh start um two weeks ago we have a facebook live for the um everything is rosy and there were three cars I'll be honest, I don't know what I did with the other one. I think I already gave it away because I don't find it in my room. And I know I have been mailing some cards, so I might have already used it. Um, so, um, the winner of that Facebook Live is Carolyn Fracton. And so, if you're watching this, um, um, this Facebook Live, please PM me your address because I'll send you the card kit to make all of these cards. And again, there is a third card. Um, that I think I already mailed out. So, hmm. but anyway, so that was that. Now, the last week, I think it has been a very popular one. It's with the Magnolia Suite, Magnolia Lane Suite. And those were, these are the cards that we made. I think, guys, that, um, I think, hold on, let me just give this thing, that out of the whole thing, I believe these two were the most popular. Though I think this one is kind of unique with the way it opens, but I want to say that these two got a lot of attention and a lot of people uh, they liked it. So the winner from last week's is Linda Shababella, Shabarella. Sorry if I'm pronouncing wrong your name, Burger. So if you are watching this Facebook Live, please PM me your address so I can send you also a card kit for this uh for these uh, cards that we made last week. So um, now um, the way to be entered on that drawing um, is by commenting or by sharing the video. So if you help me sharing this video or you comment on the video, you uh, get entered onto the drawing for the card kit of the month. So of the of the week, sorry. So um, this week it will be the Dino Roar Suite. So anyway. The other thing that I want to make sure you know is I sent an email. So again, it's very important for you to be on my mailing list because I sent all this information there. But I have sent, I was going to send information about another class, but then I'm also having kind of a catalog party, not so much for the release since it had been already launched. But this is one of the cards classes that we have, or the make and takes, I should say, that we have on that card, uh, on that uh, Facebook um party that um the last day to sign up for that one is tomorrow so um make sure you you see your email if you're already on my email list if you're not on my mailing list please let me know um so i can send you that especially if you want to participate uh taking this class there's different options this one is one of the classes um however there's two more using the perennial uh bundle and then there's another one using the Nauti called the Sail Away Bundle. So all the projects on this Facebook event, it's amazing. It is it is called Stamping with Friends, where I am partnering with two of my friends and fellow demonstrators. Um, and so each of us got to design one of the, one of the classes. 
or I should say the make and takes. And the one that I designed is this one. But believe me, all of the cards that are, or the make and takes that are being on that class are fantastic. You're gonna love it. Um, the other thing is that there is an option for extra classes. And so I just wanna show you or give you a sneak peek. I shouldn't do this, but anyway, it's um, are the projects that I already designed. So these are the ones that are going from my card class. Um, and these are from the additional options. So again, each of us designed one class. And so this one is the one that I designed for uh, the same event. So like I said, make sure you're reading your email, open the last one that I sent this morning uh, so that you can get information. And then of course, there's um, there's gonna be more um, more classes coming up. I think this is the one that got me really excited. Which this one, I'll be honest, I think this is like the third one in the row. Um, you can tell I've been working so much on card classes right now. This is the next one after the one from Stamping Friends. So again, this is a card set that has a little stationery box. It has four cards using also the perennial bundle, which it's fantastic. I love, I love... Um, this punch and how you can do either a flower with three or a flower with two of these punches. So it's really, really great. Um, and then of course I have the masculine class which will come right after that one. So um, I know I've been sharing all these card classes, but I just wanna make sure you know what's coming up. And um, also if um, to plan ahead what sets you are gonna need for the next classes. Um, also, just a bit of information, um, there are some video tutorials coming up in YouTube. My video tutorials on YouTube are free, so you can always watch them. So these are the ones that I'm planning to release here shortly. So um, a wild rose is one of those that is really nice. Very simple, and this one I really like because I show how to do the masking technique. It has been years that I have been using it, and I think it's really cool to do it. And then, of course, this one that combinates the Magnolia Lane with the um, rooted in nature. So lots of things coming up. Um, so anyway, so that's it for, oh no, there's one more last thing is that uh, don't forget about my ordering incentive. So um, this is the one from January and I can say that, but um, every, every month I'm partnering with uh, demonstrators around the world. And um, now we're up to 12, maybe 13 tutorial on the same bundle. So June, it's amazing because it has 13 and we have new demonstrators coming in into this bundle. It's amazing. And each of us get to design uh, one project. And the one from June is actually 70 pages. So definitely make sure you are um, ordering from us because whenever you order, whenever you get $50 from us um, of the designers, you get this bundle for free, or you can also get it with twenty dollars. So, lots of informations I know. So now let's just get it started here. Let's just get started with this. So, I just wanted to go over this, and I have put all three projects here. Um, let me just make sure I do all these. Hold on. Give me one second. First of all, I found it. <laughs> so I look into the paper, which I think is just amazing. And I gotta tell you, I think this has been my favorite paper, um, or I should say this sheet. I think that it goes really well with the color combinations that I like. And then I fall, I fell in love with this one because you know what? You can die cut every single one of those. So these are the same size as the stamp set which I thought that was pretty cool. So these are the same size and um, you can therefore um, die cut it with your with your uh, die. So I thought that was pretty cool because you don't have to be fussy cutting if you don't like to, to do that, right? So, so one of the things that I do when I am designing cars is I go into the whole pack and then I say, okay, which one do I like the most? Honestly, sometimes I go with different papers. This time I only went with that one, but really the main one is this one because I really like uh, picking the colors. And so from here, you can see the Pretty and Peacock, the Old Olive, um, Mango Melody, and then you have Pool Party. So those were the colors that I used the most. And then I see from this one that there was some sort of... Um, 
um, lovely lipstick. But anyway, if you ever had any questions about which colors are, you can always go back here and see which ones there are. So those are the colors that I am using tonight because I thought um, those were the, the really ones that pop up the most. So you can tell here, those are the colors that I've been using for our project. So let me just put everything. And then of course, let's just go over this. Hold on, hold on, because everything is falling apart here. Just give me one second here, because I don't want anything. All right, so you can tell here I went ahead and I cut several of them. And I like to do that because as I am creating projects, I wanna see if I wanna be uh, mixing and matching and adding. So I went ahead and I cut several. One of the other things I want to show with you is that you actually can cut, and let me just here. You can cut these, the whole thing. So um, this one has, so let me just show you. This one has this, right, which is this guy. But then also you have this one, right, which technically will die cut this section. But on the paper, I went ahead and used it to die cut it, and you could get those things as well. So I thought that was pretty cool because I don't like, especially for little things, I don't like going in and out, in and out, in and out. So I thought that was pretty cool that you have a die to do so. So, um, very excited to do that the other thing that i noticed is that there are little i want to say textures that you can add to your cart like little, little things but i also thought you could put them inside your your dyno right so let me just show you what i did here so here's where the idea came i decided to die cut two in two different colors and so this is Moosey Meadow. And then I die cut this one in, I think this one is just Daffodil Delight. But then I put this one in the middle. Oh, this one, somewhere like that. Die cut it and then got this like that. Well, I thought that was pretty cool because then I can put them together. All right. And then you have two different colors. That's not really nice. I thought that was pretty cool. Now, obviously, I just went ahead and put a little bit of the jelly pen in white. And then just do a line for the mouth and the eye. Which pretty much I was kind of following what they're doing on this one. So pretty much the same concept. So nothing really fancy. But I thought that would be really cool. Because then you can get so many ideas for your... Um, for your dino. So I like that one too. Um, you can tell, the other thing I was playing is that you could also put them the other way, right? Because you can see this one, I cut it this way, but on this one, you can do it the opposite. So I thought that was pretty cool. So anyway, so that's what I did with this one. Now these were, didn't make it for a cart this time, but I still wanted to share it with you. A lot of the times I, uh, when I start doing my cards i kind of have different elements and then i play around you can see it here i also have this little one which i don't know if i'll be using and then i have this one and i'll show you what i do in a second so that you can get a little bit of a view of what i do whenever i am designing cards especially for this type of events where i am focusing on the one suite which more and more seems to be what i do nowadays be between the classes or the facebook lives i'm always designing with one suite at a time in mind so anyway, so the card here we have, it's old olive as the car base. Then, um, then this one is eight and a half by five and a half. We're gonna go ahead and fold it in half as usual. Okay. And I'm trying to put it here point to point. Sometimes it's like I'm going against the, like it's fibers. And so that's where the bone folder comes really handy. All right, then I have a piece of the design series paper and you can see the colors as well. And this one is, I believe it's four by three and a half. Yeah, four by three and a half. So this one will go somewhere here, okay? Then I have a piece of a pool party and this one I believe is four and a half. Yeah, four and a half by one and a half. Hello? And so this one will go right here. Then I have one of those dinos, right? And I already die cut it. 
as I said, this one you can die cut with the die set. And then I have here, um, so here's what I want to do. I want to put this one like so, just to kind of pop up a little bit more of that mango melody. And then have this one for my sentiment. When I was creating this card in my mind, like I said, I always design my cards in my mind. I never really design the, I never have like a two at the time, right? Because I'm, especially for the Facebook lives, I'm always designing as I go, just because I don't have time. But then I was thinking, well, it will be really nice if I add something to this one. For me to kind of see if I like it, I kind of just take a scrap and then see if I like it, which I think I do. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp this on this lash paper. But but that always helps me to kind of visualize a little bit more as to what do I want to add or take away. Um, then from this one, I was debating, and you can see I'm still. I don't know, and this is why I have a double. I don't know if I want it like so. And at the time I was thinking, it's going to kind of be weird with this one. And so I decided to go the other way around where I will put this one. Because even though it has that one, then I can put this one and pop it up. So that's really how I go around. And you can tell I still, I had also this one in mind thinking, well, what if I put a little banner here? I didn't like it that much, but I like having these little sentiment inside this. So that's a little how I start playing with all the pieces. And you can say, I try not to waste paper. You can tell it's just little bits and pieces just so that I can give me the visual of how the card is coming up without having to do a card and then be ready for a, for like the Facebook Live or whenever I'm um, uh, filming a video. Because like I said, I don't have time to be doing the prototype and then um, do a video. If I do that, then I won't be able to do anything. Let's just be honest. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a scrap of, card, of paper here. And actually I need the foam mat. And of course, oh, here it is, like, of course, sorry for my reach. Okay, so I have it here. So I'm going to go here. And I need the, oh, goodness, what do I do with this? The peacock one. Hold on, hold on, because I had it here. Okay, it's here. I'm like, I had it here, and then I disappear. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and take the leaf. And I'm just going to go ahead and stamp it randomly. Alright. And I think that should be it. Then I have this one, the Taylor Tack Punch. And I'm going to be doing the banner right at the ends of this so alrighty and the same thing here okay all right and i'm going to be doing the same here i'm just going to put a little banner i love doing the banners nowadays with a tailor tack punch honestly um, and then for this one, I want to put that sentiment that says you are awesome, which I know is going to be kind of tight, but it does fit. Let's just make sure I have enough ink. And alrighty. Like I said, it's going to be tight, but it will be able to make it. There you have it. You are awesome. <laughs> or drawer some i think that's amazing i love it all right so now let's just play with this and i had here yeah this one so i want to see if i want to add some of these elements just because they go really well with this suite right these these are part of the suite so it's pretty cool to use those so i don't know yet how but we'll see all right so now for this one i figure we want to have a little bit of tape honestly or i could actually use dimensional snow i think maybe a little bit of tape so let me just bring um i have a double-sided tape here so i'm just gonna put a little bit just to help i'm gonna put a little bit here 
should I should put it like somewhere here well let me see how do I want to do this I want it to put it here yes and then I'm gonna go ahead and see how I want to put it and then I'll put the dimensionals wall let me bring this for a second I have a that way it's not super sticky Alrighty, now that I have it there, then I'm going to go ahead and add the dimensionals. Which, where are the dimensionals? Here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put one here. And the trick here is that you want to make sure that put it right where it crosses with both. That way it doesn't fall apart. Okay. So you can see it there. There you have it. So I'm gonna leave it right now like so. Um, let me just glue down this. And like I said, I just fall in love with how well all these colors go. And these are clearly not my typical colors, but I, I don't know, I love how it looked. Now you can tell I am offsetting these. Alrighty, then I'm going to go ahead and put this one right here, like so. So this one is going to go like so. So I want that here, yes. Then I'm going to be adding this one, and I want this one here. So I'm going to be cutting this one somewhere here. Hmm. Where are my scissors? Oh, goodness gracious. Hold on. Here. Here, here, here. Alrighty. So I'm going to go ahead and put it like that. So let's go ahead and bring this one to the picture. And then I'm going to be putting this one. Now for this one though, I want to put this here and I'm just going to go ahead and add like three of these like do a little bit of a and then kind of put them together and put them right here just to add a little something and you can work this out Okay, so now I'm ready to peel this off. I know this catalog is really nice, Maria, and I love it too. All right, so now I'm going to be adding this guy here, and then I want to pop up this one. That way, it kind of breaks between those colors right because it's the same color here and there so I'm gonna bring again dimensionals I'm actually just gonna put the one and I'm gonna put it like so and then I'm gonna add one of these oh yeah I think one of these will be really nice that will be super cute and maybe I'll add like a little bit of those here. Let me bring the figure peak for, I may add one of these since it goes also really well. And then maybe, ooh, I don't know. I don't know, I don't think I'll, I'll like that. I think just with the one without that one. So I think I'm gonna leave it like so. So what do you think, huh? Really interesting, right? And like I said, this is how I go about picking the colors. I just go with just choosing the one sheet uh, of paper that I like the most and then pick the colors from there and start putting things together. So let me just go with card number two. And card number two, I'm kind of excited with the way this one looks very easy as well so this one 
same thing. Um, this one is um, Pretty Peacock. Yeah. And it is eight and a half by five and a half. So the same thing, I go with the same colors from this color because I thought that that color combination was the best <laughs> for me. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and fold it in half. Then I have a piece of Whisper White and this one is, I believe it's also four and a half, three and a half by four, yes. And this one will go like so. But on this one, I thought about putting like these ones on top and in the bottom. So now these ones are like three quarters of an inch by three. And these are gonna go somewhere here. And you can tell I also that I cut these ones, right? From the same design series paper. Now, one of the things that I always try to do is that from the design series paper, and of course I lost it again, Oh, here it is. I'm like, I lost it again. Is that a lot of the times, the um, the paper that you can die cut, and let me just show you again, hold on. A lot of the times, the problem that you have here is that some of them are kind of cut out, like this one. And, um, and so that was the case with this guy. This guy was cut out somewhere there. So if you have most of it, you can still use it. So that's what I what I try to do, because I hate to just waste that paper, right? I mean, everything else is great. So I tried to come up with an idea that I can't use, like I can cut it there and no one would think anything about it, right? So the other thing is that because I wanted to use all the blue ones, I thought it would be nice if I have some sort of like a, um, like a, I don't know how to say that, like a landscape. So I decided to cut the bellum, which is part of the perennial suite, and old olive. Now you might be wondering what did I use for this one? And I used one of the oh uh, where is this one? The one from um what is this? The holiday catalog. Hold on, let me just bring it up because I know I had it here. I just used it. Um let me just bring it here. Oh here you go. So I use this one, and this one is part of the In the Woods, which I use this one, right? That's how I come up, that's how I did this one. And the way I actually did it is I put this one, and I knew I wanted this, when you get the bellum, one side is kind of like off color, and the other one kind of has the more vibrant color. So what I did is it's that I actually die cut them like I actually put it together like so and then run it through once and so I got kind of like the opposite right you can see it here rather than die cutting it twice so let me just go and the reason I wanted to have the bellum and the car stock on the old olive was that it will kind of create a little bit of like theft on the scene without really doing much, right? Because I want to put it somewhere like that. And then I thought, wouldn't it be really nice if I put this guy like here, and then this guy here, right? And it kind of looks like they are on a scene or something. And then I can put this guy flying. So that's how I thought this will go. So let's just start putting everything together here. So the first one is going to be this. And the other thing is that I want to add adhesive on the bellum on the very bottom, right? Because the rest can be covered with the old olive, right? So I just need to make sure where this one goes. And then this one will go somewhere here. So I will put, um, maybe actually I will add uh, glue dust to this. That way I make sure everything is hidden. And it is a little bit larger. This one... Um, it's kind of like you can see with um, like if you have a two inch strip and then cut it, it will be fine. So a two inch by three and five eighths because later on I want to go ahead and cut whatever excess I have. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and bring glue dots for this. Hopefully this is making sense for everyone. Alrighty. 
So, I'm going to bring this one first because that's uh, where I know I need to have it. And then, that way I know exactly what's going to get cover. Oh. No, I can do it somewhere here. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut whatever X's I have. I still have a little bit of X's here. Alrighty. Then I'm going to be putting this one here, and since I already passed a little bit low, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit down, right? Yes, even though it's that way, that's fine. And I'm going to be putting the adhesive on this section, because I know this for sure needs to be covered. You can tell it's all cricket, it's fine. I'm gonna cut it so I don't get to hang up with those things. Alrighty, so then you have it. And now we're gonna be putting this one first, like so. And then this one here, let me see if I want it there or if I want it here. Let me see. Oh yeah, I think I like it there better. Yes. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna go ahead and put the adhesive. Let's just see, this one will go somewhere here. Turn it this one. Like somewhere here. And then I'm going to go ahead. Yes, see that? And no one will know this guy doesn't have the whole body complete. <laughs> Alright, so let's just put that one. This one, though, I want it with dimensional. So I'm going to bring the mini dimensionals for the neck and head. Alright, and then I'm going to go ahead and put this one here, and I'm going to do a little bit of the mini dimensionals here, and another one there, and I don't know that a mini dimensional will be, no, I think that I may need to cut a little piece, oh, just to go here. There you go. That way I can cover the whole thing. I know for these things I kind of go crazy with the dimensionals, but it will be nice. Alrighty. So this one. We'll have it like so. Now, I was thinking about putting on this one the sentiment. And so for this one, I like the sentiment that says, uh, thanks for being friends, Saurus. I thought that was pretty cute. And especially, sorry, I moved the camera. Especially when I have multiple dinos together, right? So I thought that was going to be really nice. So let's just put it with that one. Just wanna make sure, yes. So I'm using Pretty Peacock again, and I'm going to be centering this. Alrighty. Oh, sorry. Oh my goodness, sorry. This one fall off. 
Let me bring the oh my goodness this thing fall off. Alright, so then I'm gonna be putting this one here and then this one fly in here. Okay. Now I might have to put this one. Hold on. A little bit more towards here because I don't have enough space for this guy. Well, who knows, maybe I do, like so. Okay, so let me just um, put one of the big ones right now, just to make sure it doesn't get stuck until I finalize where I wanna put it. So now the next thing is I'm gonna go ahead and add the strips of the sign series paper. I only want to show a little bit of that. And then here too. Alrighty. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue down. And here's where the trick comes. I'm gonna put it more like that so I have enough space. Okay. Goodness, I keep moving everything. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and oh, make the bed here, like so, and um, all right, and then I'm gonna be putting this one here. somewhere here all right then I have this one here and then I'll have this one like so yes there you have it there we have it all right so I'm gonna be putting the dimensional there and here and then maybe the small ones in this area and there we have it. Okay, give me a second here. I think I'm gonna have this one like so. All right, and here you have it. Is that not really nice? I like how um, the vellum looks there. And again, you're just bringing all the color from the same design series paper that I showed at the beginning. Um, I don't think I wanna add anything from here. Yeah, I think I'm good. So this is card number two. Let me just bring back card number one with all the dinos. Okay, here we go. There you go. And then let's go with card number three. And um, again, we're gonna be using same combination. So, here we have a, um, it's a, also the car base is um, pretty peacock. Let me just make sure everything is there. And it's eight and a half by five and a half. We're gonna go ahead and fold it in half. Use your bone folder. And then I have already um, pre-embossed, oh uh, no, yeah, embossed dry embossed the um with the corrugator paper and um, uh, 3d folder um and, and this is three by five and one quarter which when i cut it i'll be honest i give it a little bit more because when you use this one it kind of eats a little bit of that so if you want it to be the measurement just give it a little bit more like a one eighth and you'll be fine so this one will go right here, but then I also wanted to add this one. So this one will go at the end, at the edge. And um, this one is one and a half 
by um, five and five eighths because again I want to cover everything so I'm gonna go ahead and and put it to the edge right like so should I think I like this side better And we're gonna go ahead and put everything there. And then we're gonna cut whatever X's we have. And same here, you can tell there is a little bit there. And the same thing, I'm using the same colors from the design series paper and you can see it here. Now on this one, I'm debating Okay, whether I use this strip here and then have that one. And the reason I said that is because I want to put this one here and then have a sentiment. And I think I lost already one piece of my dino. Oh, no, it's there. Like, I already lost something there. But I want to put this one here. So I don't know if I want to have this piece. I'll leave it right now and we'll play with it. How about that? Now for this one, I wanna put the one, let me see, where is my stamp set? Somewhere here I had the stamp set. Um, oh my goodness gracious. Like I said, every single time it happens, I lose everything on this, on these um, videos. And you saw it at the beginning, it was here. Now I don't know what I did with it. Hmm, where did it go? Let me see. Oh my goodness, I can't find it. I'm sure that as soon as I said goodbye, I'm going to find it. Oh, here it is. It's like, I know. I know it was here. I'm like... So, I like this one. It says, I love you this much. It's more than it looks. I thought that was really cute. So, I'm going to bring this one too. And... Let's just put it here. Get that one. Bring the um, scrap of paper. And I'm gonna be stamping it again on the pretty peacock. Okay, and this is a strip of Mango Melody that it is three quarters of an inch. And again, the length doesn't matter because you're gonna be cutting it um, to the size of your sentiment. So we're just gonna put it like so. Alrighty. And of course, we're gonna be using our Taylor Tack Punch to add the banners to the end. We're going to cut it here and then do the same thing here. Alrighty, and this one will go. Hmm, actually, let me see. You know what? I, I kind of like it that way because I think this one will go somewhere here rather than there. So, okay, let's just think about this then. I'm going to go ahead and add the same thing, the same as the other one. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of tape here so I can add this one. So let's just put tape. Um, because these pieces are too small and I'm sure I'll be losing them. So I'm going to go ahead and put it right there. So let's just add it to our there you have it and this is just double sided tape there we have it and then this one the same thing let's just add our I'm going to put it here and I'm going to go ahead and this one will go like so. 
And there you have it. All right, then I can put all the dimensionals all over the place. All right. So we're going to go ahead. And we're going to put this one here. Actually, I'm going to put another one there. And then I'm going to put another one here. And then I think I'm going to cut here. Does I have enough here? I'm going to put another one there. And one here. Seems like I'm putting too many here, but okay, that's fine. It will be fine. I love putting dimension also, as you can see. So, this one will go here. Oh, I love it. And this one will go here at the bottom. I don't want it here because I feel like I'm covering almost everything, don't you think? So, I'm going to put it right there. And then I'll put this one. So I think I do like this one just showing a little bit. So I'm going to add this one then. Um, now this one is cut right at the same uh, side. So which that I don't like. Because I feel like if I go, yeah, you can see it here. I'm not going too straight, it's a hair off. This is what I talk every single time. It's a hair off and it kind of bugs me. <laughs> but oh well. Actually, you don't see that much of it, right? We're gonna put it here. So it's just minimum, really, because if I put it here, you see really little. Let me see what I want. I wanna put it there. Yeah, I think that looks okay. Okay. So we're gonna put it right there. Now, for this one, I think it's best if you put it on this side rather than on, on this one because sometimes it rips your paper. So, just put it here. Alrighty. And then we're gonna go ahead and put this one. So the same thing, we're gonna apply the adhesive here and glue it down. And then we're gonna go ahead and put this little dinosaur. I love this collection. I feel like it's so fun, especially for like little kids, right? I was actually thinking, you know, for like kids parties, this one will be great. And um, I have a little boy, he's, uh, he's almost three years, actually in July 1st is his birthday. So I was thinking it will be really nice if I do some, you know, invitations for his upcoming birthday. Um, with this with, don't you think? So I'm going to put this one right here and I'm going to be using also dimensionals. I love how it's looking. Yeah, I like that little edge. I was not so sure about it. This is one of those things that... Oh, actually... I think I have to put glue dots on those. Just because this one... There's kind of some dimension already to this paper. So, because it is embossed. So, let's just add some glue dots. And then I'm gonna be adding this one right here. And then for this one, I do think that it will be nice to add some of these little things. If I can sprinkle some of those, I think it will be really nice. So just to pop up that color of the dinosaur. And Oh my goodness. I'm gonna put one here and one more. And there you have it. 
All right, so here is card number three. What do you think, right? Very easy to make. Um, you can tell that I really focus a lot on the design series paper, especially for the colors. Um, that's where I got all the inspiration for the colors um, for my cards. And that is, that's really what I do when I am coming up with ideas. Like I said, I go with a suite that I want to create, and then I go and see which colors are there, pick up the design uh, the car stock and then what other elements I could add now for this one I could have a stamp but I thought it would be really nice to use the ones from from the paper because you can just die cut it so it was really simple like I said I just went in and and die cut Sarah all of them and start playing with them so anyway so hope you have liked them thank you so much for joining me tonight I really appreciate all your support all your hearts all your likes and again, don't forget to comment and share this video. Um, I really appreciate your support. And I'll see you next week with three more ideas, okay? Thank you so much. Take care.